everyone. I am Sunny Di Pamero Dumay. I am Florida Lisa Magpusaw. I am Lily Mindy Taban. And today, we're gonna talk about the, the four strategies, strategies involving problem solving. So first, Ma'am Eileen will explain to you on how to understand the given problem. Hello guys! And it will be followed by Ma'am Flor. He will, she will un explain to you on how to make a plan on the given problem. Hello, see you in a while. And to be followed by me, which is to execute the plan. And lastly, is to check if our answer is correct. So guys, I hope that all of you will pay attention to our presentation. And that will be all. Hi guys, so now I will discuss to you the first strategies that must be observed while you're solving problems. So, para makakasol tayo ng tama, sa una-una sa lahat ay intindihin mo na natin ang problem. At para magawa natin yun, kailangan natin sagutin. Kailangan natin maging aware sa mga keywords na ginagamit mga uncertain data or living data at sa tanong na, na kailangan sagutin. So, in our given example, makikita natin agad ang mga given or uncertain data. Mga keyword na ginagamit at kung ano ang dapat sagutin. Next, presenter, ma'am, lord. Thank you, Mom Eileen. Hello, guys. Now that we know the important use to remember in understanding a problem, we can now proceed to the second strategy in solving a problem. So, the second strategy in solving a problem is making a plan. We know that planning is a very much needed action while solving any type of problem. So that is why it is a must for everyone to know this for us to be guided. So the first thing that we will do while making a plan is to be a keen observer. Be a keen observer to the keywords being used in the problem. For this will serve as our basis whether we will add, subtract, multiply, or divide to get the answer. We must also label the important data are given in the problem. It also goes to the unknown in the given problem so, so that it will not be confusing for us to execute the plan. So, and that is all for me. I give you now, Sir Sunny. Thank you, Ma'am Flora, for that very well said explanation about the second strategy in solving a problem. So now, guys, we're going to proceed to the third strategy in solving a problem, which is executing the plan. So in order for us to execute the plan well, uh, we just need to use the second category, which is the plan that we made for us to be guided and for us to solve the problem much more easier. So it is stated in the second strategy that the operations that we will be using are addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So as you can see in the solution, it is indeed true. So I will explain to you why we get this kind of solution. So on the first part of our solution, we just need to add the three given percentage in the given problem, which is 
15% and 45%. The total sum of those percentage will be deducted to 100%. And the answer to that will be the answer to the first question. So 100% minus 90% is equal to 10%. So the answer to the first question is 10%. And now to get this the answer to the second question, we just need to add the uh, I we just need to multiply 160 which is the total number of individuals to the answer in the first question which is 10%. But first, in order for us to multiply that, we just need to convert the percentage the 10% to its decimal value. So the decimal va value of 10% is equal to 0.1. So now we're going to proceed to the multiplication. Uh, 160 times 0.1 is equal to 16. So that is the total number of individuals uh, in the second question. So that is the answer also to the second question, guys. So that is the third strategy, which is executing the plan. We're going to proceed to the fourth strategy. See you again. Hello again guys so now that we're done to the strategy number three in solving a problem we can now proceed to the fourth strategy and the last strategy in solving a problem which is checking our answer so how do we know if our answer is correct so there are three questions that we must consider for us to know if our answer is correct so the first question that we must know is does the answer complies to the give, given questions yes our answer complies to the given questions because based on our solution, the solution gives us the correct answer for question number one and question number two. Uh, number two question, um, does the answer follow the guides in strategy number two? Yes, it did follow the guides in strategy number two because we did follow the operations to be used and we did, uh, we did use the given data and the important data that we must use in our solution. Number three question. Does the answer give us the total value if we check it? Yes, it, it will did give us the total value if we check it because we did uh, base our solution to the given data in solution in strategy number two. So that is the uh, that is the question that we must consider for us to know if our answer is indeed correct. So, thank you for staying with us until the end. I hope that you did learn something in our presentation. I hope that it would be a great use for you in the near future. So, that will be all. Bye-bye!